Well, it's dangerous and often thankless work, but the officers who do it say it's the best job they've ever had. The Toledo Police K-9 unit has only been on the streets for a couple of years, but in that short time, the dogs are making a big difference in the safety of our city. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton and videographer Todd Gartner spent several days on the road with the unit. Lisa joins us now with the story. Ten dogs. <coughs> one focus. <coughs> patrolling the streets to cut down on crime. <coughs> There are lighter moments between the dogs and their handlers throughout the day. Oh, hello, buddy. Hi. You come to say hello? Oh, oh, kisses, thank you. But those moments often change in a split second. They all seem to have a sense of, hey, something's going on. You know, your tone of voice changes, the motor, if you're really driving hard, the lights and sirens, they kind of pick up on all that stuff, I think. On this day, Yuma helped track down hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of drugs and tens of thousands in cash. You have the, the hunch she's your verifier. Yeah, basically, that's exactly what she is. This traffic stop was connected to the eventual seizure of nearly $150,000 worth of heroin, $65,000 of cocaine, and nearly $40,000 in cash. It was all found in a storage locker. Yeah, she sniffed all around it. She jumped up on it. She put her nose in the air by all the seams. She sniffed down under the door. And I think once she sniffed under the door, she got the, the odor that uh, she knew that was present, and she ended up laying down and indicating. On any given day, the dogs are tracking suspects, sniffing out weapons, bombs, or drugs. And you can see oftentimes they'll carry these needles around uncapped, uh, which presents a risk not only for themselves, but for anybody else who might come across. They all sit to alert the handlers to the presence of whatever odor or item they're trained to find. And what they're working for is not the drugs or explosives. It's a reward, like a toy or playtime. Seven of the Toledo Police canines are narcotics dogs. Luke is one of them. He picks up marijuana, cocaine, crack cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, and ecstasy. I can walk into a room and not smell any of those items. Hugo is one of three bomb dogs. The bomb dogs are trained to find 20 different scents, everything from dynamite to fertilizer-based explosives. So every day we train with a different, different scent because there are so many different ones, so we try to get one or two different scents every day. That training is done both at home with the handlers and on the job. The dogs train for months before hitting the streets, and that training really never ends. The canine unit gets together twice a month to train, and then each handler works with their dog on a daily basis. Some of that work is done at this Toledo Police Obstacle Course. The Obstacle Course training is about obedience and confidence. We want the dog to believe that in any situation, they can, number one, trust us. So if I ask him to do something, he can trust what I'm asking him to do. And that the other thing is that he'll succeed in whatever given scenario we put him in. The Toledo dogs are all imported from Germany or the Czech Republic, and their commands are given in those languages. Each dog has its own passport. A number of different breeds are used in police work, but Toledo's entire unit is made up of German shepherds. Officers say while the breed may not be the best at any one thing, they are good at everything. Across the board and all the criteria that we were looking for, a German Shepherd fit the bill, and the ones that we have have certainly um, lived up to their expectations. The department suffered a devastating loss last year when Falco was killed in the line of duty. She'll sit here and she'll give kisses and she'll grab my arm and she'll lick my ear and then we have to pull up to a call where I have to send her in where there's a chance that she might not come back and that's a very difficult decision to make. The dogs aren't sent into every situation. For example, if there's broken glass or needles from drug users on the ground, they hold the dogs back. Each situation is measured by the handlers. Of course, what makes all the incredible work possible is the dog's sense of smell. One drop from an eyedropper into two Olympic-sized swimming pools. That's, they can detect that. That's how strong their noses are. Handlers say another one of the dog's senses is better than ours as well. They can hear stuff that we can't hear. So she'll perk right up and she'll see somebody that I never even saw, which is good for, you know, in case so safety reasons so no one sneaks up on us. While they are called on thousands of times each year in all kinds of situations, some of what the dogs do is hard to measure. 
Their presence often helps prevent problems. People hear the dog barking in the back of my car, and they're much less apt to run as they maybe would be in the past without a dog. And when the workday is over, the dogs all go home with their handlers, making for a 24 7 partnership. Good boy. You can't ask for a better partner. I mean, just when you, you might be having a crummy day or something, he comes up and gives you a big old lick or gives you that goofy look. Yeah, she listens very well. You're not a little partial, are you? Unlike, unlike some of my children. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, everybody's going to say their dog is the best, so. But yours is? I'm going to say mine is. <laughs> <laughs> and while they spend most of their days surrounded by crime, chaos, and crisis, it is the little things that make it all worth it. When people actually take an extra second and say, hey, thank you very much. You know, we appreciate what you guys do, and I, that makes us happy inside, you know, I, I think. It makes the dogs happy, too. Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC Action News. And great pictures from Todd as well.